This conference will now be recorded. So team, uh, as part of yesterday's session, so we spoke about like different uh, types of teams. Those are available. Like once we enter into any any of the company or any into the project. So as a tester, as a tester, we would be working with different teams such as like dev teams and BA teams. And also like we would be. Uh, and as a like as a developer, uh, I mean, there would be certain roles and responsibilities for each person. So as a BS, so they will, they will gather the requirements. They will gather the requirements from the clients. So that is the that is a major uh, ro roles and responsibilities of a BS. Whereas in Dev, so they will gather the requirements from the BS and start working on developing the application. So this is the major roles and re responsibilities of a developer like they will write the code and when it comes to tester so testers they will test the application so whatever the whatever the code the developers has written testers will go ahead and test the application so these are the major roles and responsibilities of these three people so as part of yesterday's session we also spoke about like different tools like as a developer they would be using like these are the tools they would be using in order to develop their application like html css javascript and jsp python servlets so these kind of tools and technologies as a developer they would be using this one and like when it comes to testers so testers are of like there are different types of testers so manual testers automation testers and also the performance testers right so as a as a manual tester we doesn't have to work on any of the code we doesn't have to automate any of the things all we have to do here is like just test the application manually whatever whatever the application that developers has built we need to test it manually when it comes to automation but when it comes to automation we need to we need to develop like the scripts okay so we would be using different tools for that we would be using uft selenium or tricentis tosca so among these among these like uft is is a legacy to legacy it's an old tool like whereas selenium it's a free and open source tool so selenium always goes in hand or in parallel with uh, java like any of the programming language not only java but most of the clients would be using like selenium along with java right so that is the that is the bottom line of this particular uh, automation tool and apart from along with the manual testers automation testers so there would be like the performance testers as well okay so there would be performance testers as well like right? so what exactly the performance testers are going to test here is so for example like whenever there is an online if you consider any of the e-commerce site like amazon or flipkart so these are the e-commerce sites right so if you consider these e-commerce site so during the during the festival times or during the big billion day or during the seasons when whenever there is an offers so the number of people the number of people using or hitting the url would be huge it will be in thousands or sometimes around lakhs but still but still the the application should be available to the user right it should not say that site should be down or things like that if they say then the flipkart or amazon e-commerce site people they might lose their business right so for that before it actually goes into the market they have to do like performance testers performance testing which is they would be using load runner neo load and j meter in order to test their application so i would say that even though in testing the manual testing team automation testing team and performance testing team so these all of these things are like the different okay all of these things are 
the different uh, teams so now as part of today's session so we would be talking about like product based company and a service based company okay so now so yesterday like we spoke like for if we are working for an arden university like this is a university and they will make an employee with one of the software companies right one of the software company so here tcs so for example if you consider any of it so now arden people so they want to make an mou they want to tie up with tcs so now tcs what it will do for example tcs will have like 10 people working for arden project so in this 10 people you can say that 3 bas like 4 devs 4 developers and 3 testers right so these 10 people on tcs right they would be working for they would be working for Arden University project. I mean, so these all these 10 people they work on the development and testing activities, right? Or for this Arden University site. So here basically Arden is a university, right? Arden is a university, whereas TCS, whereas TCS is a software company which offers like which offers development which offers development and testing activities for their clients correct which offers development and testing activities for their clients so in here in here since tcs is offering development and testing services it is doing development and testing services to arden university so tcs is a software company but in that tcs is like service based company okay service based company so not only tcs in the market you see like a lot of service based company whereas tcs infosys is also a service based company right tcs infosys vipro cognizant so all these are like the uh, service based software companies okay all these are service based software companies but now in this case Arden University site has got came and make made an MOU with like TCS. So just like that, if you consider if you consider like any of the like if uh, let's consider Apollo Pharmacy. Okay. So Apollo Pharmacy. Now, Apollo Pharmacy owners, so these these business owners, then they want they want their own site, guys. Let's assume that they want to develop their site so that customers can order the pharmaceutical products from their site. Okay, Apollo Pharmacy they want to have build their own, they want to build their own application, whereas whereas customers can log into their application and they can order for the products so in order to develop their application or in order to have their own application they have to they have to depend upon any of the like software company so they make they will make an mou with an infosys okay they will make an mou with infosys so now infosys will offer the like development and testing activities to apollo pharmacy so then Apollo Pharmacy would be the client for Infosys. Okay. So in this case, Apollo Pharmacy would be the client for Infosys. So basically, now we are we are bringing this topic because we are we are learning about like product based and service based companies, and among that we are we are talking about the service based companies whereas service based companies means it works it offers software services to other clients to its clients 
okay so once you once you enter into like any of the software industry so you might get a chance to work on different types of industries okay if you if you are working for any service based company you might be getting a chance to work on different um, like different clients so one is academic and universities so if we take the scenario here 10 people in tcs are working for art insight right so if you ask these developers if 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 you ask this developer or ba or tester for which client you are working what what they will say guys if you ask any of the 10 people from tcs if you ask for which client you are working what what do they say they'll say that they are working for ardell right yes or no guys yes sir subhash or swapna everyone like i need the session to be more interactive so at least i need answers from you so can you hear me guys yeah okay okay so if you ask the this this 10 people from tcs like for which project you are working they will say like r10 right and in the same case if this apollo pharmacy and makes an mou with infosys the people working in this project if you ask them for which project you are working so they will say that apollo pharmacy right yeah so in this case tcs is a software company what is an arden it's a it's a university correct it's a university or academy academy yeah yeah it's a university or academy so tcs is a software company here in this case apollo pharmacy is a pharma distributor right it's a pharma distributor Whereas Infosys, Infosys is again okay. it's, a, it's a software company, right? So, so in here, if if you if you enter into any software, sorry, service-based software company, you would be getting a chance to work on like these different domains, like academic side. Since Arden made an MOU with TCS, you might get a chance to work on academic side. If Apollo Pharmacy comes and makes an MOU with uh, TCS or Infosys or any software company you are working on, you will get a chance to work on pharma product. So along with that, mortgage. So does any, every does anyone know about mortgage? The kind of business yeah. we do in mar mort mortgage yes what kind of business can you tell me in general in general what exactly mortgage means like for example let's say there is any bank okay uh, let's consider is it a bank or any any kind of uh, like organization so we'll put our property Okay. We'll, we'll put our property in a particular bank. Like house loan? Yeah. Yes, house loans kind of thing. So we'll, we'll we'll put our property in a bank and in return and in return they will give us the money. Yes. So if we put our property in a bank in in return they will they will provide us the money so they will they will take interest on that particular thing right so this is the kind of business happens in like a, a mortgage industry so if any mortgage industry so if even for that purpose also if they want to develop their application they want to build their own application so same thing any mortgage organization will come and 
make an MOU with the MOU with the software companies. So again, same story. The software companies they will provide, they will offer the software services to. They will build the application for this mortgage projects, right? So like that, you will get a chance to work on mortgage projects as well if you enter into any of the service based company. Now moving on to automobile. So automobile, can someone tell me any any one automobile industry like any automobile company? Tata Motors or Toyota, right? So for example, let's consider Toyota. So now what the Toyota will do? So this particular automobile industry, so they will manufacture, right? So they will manufacture their cars. They will sell their cars and after they sell their cars, they will offer the uh, service as well, like car service. So three things they will do. They will manufacture the car, they will sell the car and they will offer their, offer the car, car services, right? Car services. So now if Toyota also wants to have their own application, if Toyota organization if they want to have their own application again they make they will make an MOU with any of the service based software company right any of the service based software company so in that case the people working in this project will get an idea on like how the automobile industry looks like how the application of automobile industry looks like because our BS will gather the requirements from the Toyota people so based on based on uh, the requirement our developers will gather the requirements from the bs and they will start the development as a tester we would be testing this particular automobile application so like that we'll get a chance to work on automobile as well e-commerce so the best example for e-commerce would be like the flipkart and amazon so they will they will sell the like goods and services like they'll sell and buy the, uh, we can sell and buy the goods and services from our e-commerce, e-commerce sites. So if, if any of the e-commerce, like if you consider Mintra, right? So Mintra has their own, has their own mobile application and also their own web application. So that particular site has also been developed by someone, right? Someone means some software company. So if the Mintra people will came, if, if they come and make an envoy with any of the software company, so the people working in that particular project will get a chance to work on e-commerce projects, right? Yes, you are getting right. What I'm trying to say, everyone like Madhuri, Swapna, Spice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, this is one of the like e commerce uh, for e commerce. The best example would be like Flipkart and Amazon. So, how about mass media? So, there is some kind of business going on in like mass media. So, which gave like print and digital advertisement. So, can you can you tell us like what exactly happens in mass media? Does anyone have any idea on how the mass media media domain will make like a business? Okay, so there are two things guys under the mass media. So they will provide so in 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 my previous like uh, like I think in the last year I have worked for one of the client. So there is like Condé Nast okay so there is condé nast so condé nast is basically mass media like i would say it's a media company media company so they have the magazine they have their condé nast magazine and also they have a social media platform okay social media platform and also a channel let's say they have like both so 
what exactly the kind of business the Condé Nast people will do is magazines. If someone want to give their advertisements on the like Condé Nast magazine, right? For example, if any real estate company, right? Uh, if they are if, if their flats are ready and they are ready to sell their sell their flats now they want to give the advertisements so as part of their advertisement they have approached like Condé Nast because it's a famous magazine so on that particular magazine on the front page they want to provide the advertisement right they want to provide the advertisement like you can consider my home people only so my home wants to provide advertisement about their new venture in Condé Nast magazine like if if they want to provide their advertisement on the first page to page so they will rate the Condé Nast people will rate some amount of money to those uh, like my home people right they will they will charge some amount of money so if it is in middle page the price will be little less okay for suppose for the front page they will charge hundred dollars for the middle page they will charge like eighty dollars for the last page they will charge like fifty dollars like that main page and heading and the size on that page based on that uh, they will they will provide an advertisement and that is how the Condé Nast people will make money okay that is how the Condé Nast media company will make money and also they have like one channel for the channel if if like same my home people want to give the advertisement in their channel if their advertisement is for one minute they will charge like 500 dollars if their advertisement is for 40 seconds they will charge like 400 dollars like that based on the duration they will charge so that is how exactly the Condé Nast people are going to make money right now in order to in order to do all this in order to manage all this if the Condé Nast side people if not only Condé Nast if any media company if they want to have their own site so that clients can log into into their site and then they can they can book their pages for certain dates like 25th or 30 like that right so they can log into their site and they can book their uh, like they can book their advertisement and they can pay through online only and the message request will go to Condé Nast people saying that okay my home people they had booked the first page on 25th so this is the amount they have initially paid as an advance right so like that like that they can make money so in order to manage their application they will again make tie up with any of the software company so that software company people will offer their uh, like they, they will because in software companies there would be there would be development and the testing professionals right so they will go ahead and uh, build their applications right so and one more thing is like retail so retail retail is nothing but where they can sell like you can consider like a, a smart or realize reliance smart so these are like the retail retail applications okay a smart or reliance smart so these are like the retail applications where they are going to sell up sell their online groceries so for that also reliance smart they also need their applications right they also have their online platform in order to sell their products so same similarly in order to sell their uh, like retail in order to in order to sell their online groceries so these people like uh, they will make an MOU with again the service based company and they will they will create or they will build an application for them and they can use that so that customers can log in and they can search for a product add them to the basket and they will order so that's how that's how these people uh, like these Condé Nast this any of the media company or mortgage pharma university so they will have their own ways of own ways of like uh, uh, they will they will have their own business and they will have different ways of making money but software companies how they will make money by offering the 
software services to these to the to their clients they will they will make the money so here i will tell you okay i will tell you so one thing is so this is some some kind of secret okay so now here arden has made a arden has made an mou with tcs so is arden is a software company as a universe or a university here university uh, how about tcs yeah. is it a software company tcs or software company it's a software company so tcs is software offering software, software development and uh, testing activities to whom arden to arden so arden will be the client for TCS. tcs so tcs people are working for arden right so arden has yeah. to pay some amount of money to tcs correct yes or no yeah yeah, yeah. right so do you have any idea about how much they are going to pay for like one person i mean our clients so during their mou during an mou so they will pay they will pay per person based on the hours okay so each day each day there would be like eight working hours okay so each day there would be like eight working hours so for for each hour for one hour they will pay like okay they will pay like for for each person at least it would be like 20 dollars okay so so in order to get for a month so each month will have 22 working days correct i mean you know right for, uh, for like software companies saturdays and sundays would be the holidays so each each uh, uh, month will have 22 working days so so for one month how much they will pay 22 into 40 dollars 8 hours per day into 20 into okay 20 dollars right so now on an average let's consider dollar rate is 80 so what is the outcome of this one guys it's 22 into 8 into 20 into like 80 so they will pay around 2 lakhs 81 thousand 600 so this this amount per how many days per month for each person okay. so for each person they will pay this much amount of money for each person per month right but we will be getting like 5 lakhs 8 lakhs 10 lakhs per annum right for each person our cl the clients will pay this much amount of money but like uh, since they will have like uh, some background things right uh, like they would be uh, so background things like they need to get the project and things like that so they will maintain uh, all these things but so that's the reason they will be giving like 5 lakhs 10 lakhs uh, of amount per for us okay. guys i will be uh, so am i audible guys yeah yes, okay. yeah so this is how they are going to pay so this is about the like service-based companies so now let's talk about like a product-based companies so when it comes to product-based companies right when it comes to product-based companies so they will have their own product Okay. If you consider Kony Labs, right? If if you consider Kony Labs or Amazon, okay, or Google, so the people working in these kind of product-based companies, so they will work only on their only on their products, okay? They will not work for they will they will not work for other products. So they will have their own products. So let's assume. So let's consider uh, if you consider like Naukri. Okay. If you consider Naukri, so Naukri is a site, it's it's basically a job site, correct? 
it is basically a job site that means where as a as a job seeker so this is used by the job seeker and a recruiter okay now create site is used by both of the people like job seeker and the recruiter whereas what the recruiter will do he will log into the naukri site and check the resumes like if, if any of the resume matches then they will give us a call as a job seeker what we'll do we'll we'll upload our resume and we'll uh, we'll upload our resume and we'll check whether we are getting the calls or not so naukri is a job site which is used by both job seeker and a recruiter so naukri for example naukri site is built by like kony labs right it is it is built built by kony labs the owner of naukri is like the like the kony labs it's a software company okay so for example one person one person has started with a startup to to develop naukri so that person is nothing but he is a ceo of like kony labs for example so the people working in kony labs will only work for naukri so they will not work for any of these service uh, like uh, these uh, clients as we discussed okay the people working in here they will work on their naukri site and naukri is their own product okay naukri is their own site so this is the difference between a uh, service based company and product based company so the people working in product based companies they will have their own products so they will not be working for like other other people okay did you got it guys yeah okay so this is the difference between like a product based companies and a service based companies and also we have seen like the different types of industries okay so from tomorrow like we'll we'll continue like uh, like the core uh, manual testing concepts guys okay any doubts before we wrap up the session for today Ahil, can you explain about the product based company how they run i mean so how they like you are talking about how they make their business or something like that yeah 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 how they make their business uh, so here since naukri okay i will tell you so in naukri as a job seeker what we would be doing we would be uploading our resumes right we would be uploading our resumes and we would be looking for the like a calls will be based on the that particular resume would be checked by the recruiters they will they will if if the profile matches if the requirement matches with our profiles they will give us a call and they will schedule our interview with us like that that particular things will happen okay apart from that naukri also offers some kind of memberships or registration okay like for, it will like for 2000 if we pay like 2000 for, it it will last for 3 months 3 months okay as a user we need to pay so that we'll get more calls like our profile will be more visible to the recruiter so there is also that kind of mechanism in naukri okay we need to register for 2000 it will be for 3 months so what is the usage for for us to pay the 3000 means we would be our our profile will highlight more and our profile will be more visible to the recruiters okay so like that like these membership accounts they will get the money and if you if you consider if you, so this is one thing so now if you consider microsoft teams okay microsoft teams is is one of the like chat channel so that every uh, it is we can create groups in microsoft teams and uh, we can create groups and we can chat individually so the uh, so if this microsoft teams so however microsoft teams since it's a microsoft product however it is it is built by microsoft only so microsoft is also one of the product based company so this particular teams is used by different different clients right so tcs will use teams infosys will use teams and other uh, like wipro will use the teams uh, product right 
so since teams product is developed by microsoft but it has been used by different companies so these companies will pay some amount of money to microsoft because they are using the teams so like that also the product based companies will make money okay okay uh, by selling their own products they are making Yes, like yes, by products. selling their own products, since some other people are using their own products like that, they will uh, make the money. Yeah, got it. Okay, any more questions, guys, from anyone? So even though the startups they will work on start developing any of the product and they will sell there and uh, they will they will give like the usage in order to use their product so that's how they make money so that is the major concept behind product based companies okay guys so if you have no questions so let's continue our session tomorrow so let's start off with that core manual concept, uh, testing concepts tomorrow guys okay yeah. until then thanks everyone for joining the session have a good day guys thank you Neil. thank you